Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday night. I'm gonna move this tripod back just a little bit. I moved a little closer for the devotional videos. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm doing some crocheting today and um, I started a baby blanket last night for one of Vince's grandbabies. I figured I was trying to decide what, uh, you know, I wanted to make them something um, for him to give them, you know, um, for Christmas or whatever, you know, uh, and I was like, they're both babies. One's 14 months and one's about four months. So I was like, well, you know, baby blankets work. So I looked up, I Googled what it was the standard, um, size for a, a baby blanket and it was said 45 by 60. So that's what I did. I st and I had this, um, I have five skeins of this uh, puzzle acrostic in this very gender neutral kind of stripy. Uh, this is what it works out looking like right here. Y'all know, I mean, everybody knows puzzle yarn, right? It's 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 a thick. It says it's a five weight yarn, but we all know it's a thick four weight yarn. We know that, right? <laughs> Hundred percent acrylic. Each skein has 328 yards each. I use a 6.5 millimeter with this. Uh, works out just fine. Um, now I'm, 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 I'm just going. I'm just sticking with what I know, which is that um, that prairie stitch that um, Crystal has a tutorial for. Crystal over at Bagel Day has a tutorial for. I'll try to remember to put it in the description box of this video. But this is what it's striping up with so far. Very pretty little, you know, green, blue, and I guess that's gray or whatever. I don't know. I did make a cardigan for my friend Cindy over at Pups and Crochet with this last year, I think, for her birthday. I think not this year, not this year's birthday, but uh, last year's birthday, I think. Yeah. So I think she has a cardigan made out of this yarn from me. Um, and I still had five skeins of it. Um, I, I noticed four, four or five. But and then um, I got to thinking. I was like, well, I don't know if I want to just do the whole blanket in this, or break it up with another um, semi solid, semi -solid, solid colored yarn. Um, so I remembered that way a long time ago. <laughs> that Tara Lynn, uh, from All Yarned Up, uh, she, um, sent me this beautiful, um, yarn. This it's, it's a really, like, kind of like a stonewashed green, real pale green. Um, it was some Clarence yarn that she had that she threw in with a amigurumi that she made me. Uh, it's called, the colorway is called You, You'll Be Missed. And so, it's, it's a very beautiful color. And it, it, it's, it just doesn't photograph very well. Um, I tried last night to get a decent look, but it's, it's really pretty and it's, it's just got this stonewashed look to it and in certain lights you can see it, but, um, up against this, it really does work. Um, but it, but the, my lights wash it out and make it look almost white. But, uh, if I put it against a white, this is a scheme that a little dog that we briefly had tore up got into a box and tore up so this is actually premier basics in white <laughs> but it will still work it will still get used but as you can see when you put it right next to white you get the green you see the green so yes i'm going to um probably um right there. i'm probably gonna work some more rows of the puzzle and then i'm going to you know, work some rows in this color just to kind of break it up a little bit. And just because I don't, I, ideally, I would like to use what I have in the puzzle for both blankets so that later on when the girls are older, they don't fight over who they don't fight over the blankets uh, because they are going to be close in age. And my sons, even though they're six years apart, they would, when they were younger, they would sometimes fight over stuff if they didn't have the exact same thing. And I remember growing up that 
me and my sister were like just barely two years apart. Um, and if we didn't have the exact same thing, they would be issues. So, <laughs> so knowing that as a parent, that's why I'm, I'm just thinking I need to make these blankets as close to the same as I can so that you know nobody's jealous of the other when they get to that point you know i you know i just kind of think am i overthinking it let me know in the comments am i am i overthinking it now i do have another uh i have about eight skeins of two different um of complementing yarn and i love this yarn i have um like a really beautiful uh pastel um uh, uh, green color and then i have a variegated pastel that complements that. I have four skeins of each of the, you know, I have four skeins of the solid and four skeins of the, of the variegated. And th that would make a good baby blanket as well. It's very close to the same color scheme as this puzzle. I could prob, you know, if I if I not, don't have as enough, enough of this puzzle to make both blankets, then I can go use that. That's not a problem. The color schemes are almost identical. They're just gonna be laid out different. Uh, but the general color scheme is 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 about the same. Um, I'll have to show y'all that in the next video because I did put that box where I could get to it when I had to go find this. Because <laughs> at about two in the morning, this morning, I decided I needed to go find this yarn because it was bugging me that I didn't know where it was. I knew I had it and it was in a in a tote, but I didn't know which tote. So I was moving totes and getting myself out of breath until I found it but I did find it and uh, so I have four of these so um, and these are 252 yards each because it's considered the print because it's not a solid color it's more of a stone wash color but it's really pretty so and it and it works really well with this it works really well with that so um, but yeah I'm gonna work some more before I before I you know before I clip my yarn and, 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 and do rows in this in this color, I'll work more more of the blanket before I do that. But um, I'm using um, my Clover 6.5. I just happened to just grab this because this works good with puzzle yarn. I've noticed that my that puzzle yarn really prefers these plastic hooks a lot of times over uh, the metal hooks. So it just does. I don't know why. But the puzzle yarn really likes the plastic hook, and so um, I'm glad I have one. <laughs> but that's what that's what that that is the new project that I started uh, when I'll be making two baby blankets. And I've gotten further with my panel for the the hoodie. So yeah, I'm working on this. Get I know that's wide. I know it is. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But. Um, Yep, I got a ways to. I got some more inches to go on this top, and then it'll be, it'll be there. But um, I got all this. Look how that variegated plays out. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. It's almost like I'm. It 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 has its own little pattern though. It really does. It has a it has a very interesting little uh, pattern going there, which is really cool. It it really is. It's. It, it's almost like I meant to do that, but I didn't. I just let the yarn play out because they're very short. Um, you know, there's no no stripes. It's it's literally variegated, so you really don't know how it's going to play out. But when you hold it up and, and look at it from a distance, it looks like you intended for a pattern, but there's no way to. But that is cool. That is really nice. I like that a lot. I think that's very pretty. And I think she would like it. But I'm going to work some more rows here on the top. I got to I gotta sit down and, and, and examine. Because um, I, while I did keep track of the stitch, the uh, the beginning chain here, I haven't uh, kept track of how many uh, of, of each color I've done, how many rows of each color. So I'll have to go and kind of stretch it a little and, and count each row, you know, count each row and then mark, mark it on my notes. My notes. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I have little notepads everywhere to keep track of what I'm doing because uh, otherwise I, I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
mm -mm. but I, I have to make notes on this one so that the 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 front panel will go really quickly because I'll know I'll, I'll automatically know how many rows I'm doing in each color because I've already done it but when I get up to because uh, the the front the front panel will go very similar to this only when I get to this color I'll be doing puff stitches because um, this this is um, this is gonna land about right here and so when I get when I get well when I get right there on the front panel the the you know right across the shoulders here I want to be the puff stitches because of the what what I'm doing with the sleeves so yeah yep because of what I'm doing with the sleeves <laughs> So there you have that. That's why, because I'm going to be, because I want the puff sleeves on the uh, the puff stitches on the sleeves to correspond with the puff sleeve puff stitches on the top front, the front of the sweater. I want it to be cohesive. So therefore, I'm going to try to line them up, um, you know, on the so that when it goes, it just goes across, and and it, and it'll go from like the top of the sleeve all the way across like that and it'll you know kind of flow properly so it'll you know look like it's meant to anyhow oh lord have mercy no i guess it, it's just the difference in the lighting i was looking at you know because this is the same exact yarn but from across looking across from each other it looked a little bit the shade looked a little bit different but it's not it's not it was just that is over there in, sh in a different, you know, lighting. It's just lighting. But um, I did go to Walmart today and get some groceries. And they had um, coconut cream pie on rollback. Marie Callender's uh, coconut cream pie on rollback. So I got one. They didn't have any little ones. You know the little ones that are about like this that come in a two pack they didn't have any of those i did look and how many of those that so i got a regular size pie yeah and i'm patiently waiting for it to thaw out <laughs> i wouldn't say patiently because well i'm not a very patient person i'm just not um uh, mm -mm. no patience is not one of those things that i have but, uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to run in there and, and see if it's thawed out and get me a piece. But uh, I did uh, use the uh, Instant Pot again for some more yellow rice because um, I made some a week or so ago. Something like a couple of weeks ago, I guess now. Uh, and um, I made it, I cooked it too long, but it was really mushy rice, but it was delicious at the same time, the yellow rice. Uh, I was, I, I had a big, I made a whole pot of it, uh, a big, big package of it, which made, you know, a pretty good bit. And I had it in a bowl and I was just heating it up at a, a little bit at a time and with a little bit of low sodium soy sauce. And my stomach really likes it. So I decided that, you know, I liked, I like having good stomach days. So I would get some more of the rice and, and uh, make it in the instant pot. And so that's what my supper was. <laughs> Yellow rice with a little bit of low sodium uh, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Yes. So, um, yeah. My stomach really likes that. It, it, it doesn't irritate me at all. And um, so, and I'm going to go see Vince again tomorrow. I miss him. So I'm going to go visit with him and spend the day with him. So you'll see a devotional video tomorrow night. Um, but I probably will skip a vlog video. Uh, because I'll be over there till late, but um, I just want to come on and visit with y'all a few minutes. I, I had played with the idea of doing a live tonight, but I'm just uh, uh, not feeling very energetic. <laughs> and and doing live streams take a lot of energy because you want to be upbeat and talkative, and you want to you know touch. You know, you want to speak to everybody that comes into the chat. You want to call everybody's name and uh, give everybody the attention they deserve. And um, 
I, ha I have a certain standard for myself when I do live streams and um, I just didn't feel like that my energy level was up to that standard tonight so I decided not to do it um, not that I didn't want to spend time with y'all but I you know I didn't feel like I was going to be up to my own standards as far as my live streams so I will stick a pin in that and do it another night um, Amy and Eva both were otherwise engaged with other commitments and, and the plans they had so it would have just been me um, which I've done many times um, but I was kind of hoping to have some some company d during my life but that's okay you know um, hopefully maybe one day this week Amy will be available and we can try, try for it again um, maybe later in the week or something I don't know I don't know what her schedule is or if she's she might be working Monday and Tuesday like she's been doing uh, but we will figure it out and uh, sometime in the next week or so we'll do a live stream even if I have to do it by myself <laughs> I may have to do it earlier in the day because I've been uh, going to bed about 1 or 2 in the morning and then getting up at 11 a.m. 10 between 10 30 and 11 a.m. and that's when I have the most energy is when I first get up and I'm you know up and around and everything that's when I'm you know the most energetic um, so yeah when I've had coffee and you know a little bit of protein like eggs or something you know that's when I feel like you know I'm more you know energetic and in a good mood but uh, right now I just feel tired I don't know why I just feel tired I just been binge watching um, this show on uh, Peacock uh, I don't know why it's on Peacock it was on CBS but uh, I think Peacock is just maybe getting the the older seasons or something. I don't know because uh, these don't these don't seem to be the most up up to date episodes. But it's a uh, FBI Most Wanted. Mm, it's got Dylan McDermott in it. Mm. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, that man. Oh, he is a good looking actor for sure. And I like I like that show anyway. I like all those FBI shows. They they're really good. So uh, yeah, but uh, uh. here me. And I had a Starbucks earlier, but guess what? I'm sleepy still. I had a Diet Mountain Dew, a Starbucks, and here I am, and and vitamins. But I'm yawning. But I got all the laundry done already today, so I don't have to worry about it when I come back tomorrow evening I don't have to do any laundry when I come back home tomorrow evening um, so there's that um, stop that Theodore he's licking himself on my bed I hate it when he does that <laughs> but uh, so now y'all know I'm working on this baby blanket and this this uh, hoodie and I, I guess that makes three projects I still got to finish Will's blanket at some point but um, seeing as that he couldn't even uh, give me a birthday card for my birthday, I'm not in any hurry to do that. My feelings are a little hurt by him at the moment. So I'm not finishing it in protest, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, anyway, but uh, I hope y'all have a good night. I will, uh, I have the devotionals pre-recorded now and uploaded for uh, t uh, tomorrow morning and for Monday morning. So, um... I will see y'all in the next vlog video when that happens sometime Monday night, probably. But uh, please remember that I love you and so does Jesus. And of course, uh, please adopt, don't shop. Your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye.